Pirate Bay at Christmas. <coughs> wait, wait, wait. Stop! Before we begin this video, I'd like to leave a warning. Anything that's said in these bird strips are not to be taken seriously. That's the nature of a bird strip. No matter how racist, disgusting, or controversial they may be, they're all in good fun. But don't take my word for it. Look at this one bird strip that describes them. Amidst a wave of offensive subreddit bans, Count Von Count makes a case in front of Reddit's grand jury for why r slash Burt strips should be preserved. While yes, we do potentially offensive themes in many of our posts, the posts are never meant to be offensive nor advocate. The offensive content displayed, the themes are used to create an absurd and totally ridiculous mental damage characters from childhood television which are supposed to bear role models. Performing acts are seen as morally deplorable. The entire humor is derived from this dissonance. If bird strippers don't act such as red, murder and racism were morally acceptable, then there would be no dissonance and therefore no humor. The subreddit would have no point. We are not offensive memes. We do not get morally deplorable acts, and we do not follow any political agendas. We are just an abstract and satirical form of art that tries to create comedy in its great but charming way. If you think wanting to make people love is a crime, then you may guess me for the dirty Jew I am. Thank you, Count. Now, with that being said, on to the yearly madness! I'm sorry, Big Bird, but you can't join our aviation club. It's because I'm blue! Isn't it, you fucking racists? It's because you're fucking flightless, dumbass. During the press conference, X confirmed that the it which he personally gave to everyone on Sesame Street was, in fact, HIV. Grover shows a picture of who the fuck asked. Charlie is happy that he got 100 on his test, much to the chagrin and horror of Mr. Johnson holding the breathalyzer. When the stewardess informs them that nearly all the passengers are incapacitated due to food poisoning, including the entire flight crew, Bert realizes it's finally time to overcome his PTSD. Forget what he did to those Vietnamese villagers, ignore his drinking problem and try to land this plane, despite not knowing how. Elmo pulls the halo off of an angel and watches them fall into the depths of hell. Bert and Ernie wonder why their $14,000 wafer cabinet came with a child in it. After reading every single Dr. Seuss book, Bert is pissed to learn there's nothing racist about them. Bert attempts to seduce you, the Bert Strip Reader. With this earlier, I get very hypnotic mating dance. Wow! Hot Bert. I can hear the 10-year-old screams even through the soundproof door. Ernie must really want that job at Reddit. Bird unzips upon discovering our slash bird strips. After some scrolling, he is disappointed to find no porn of himself. Please, Julia, please. Julia remained silent in response to Alan's plea. Please, Julia, tell me where the other children are. Julia continued to paint as if there was no one else in the room. I promise you won't get in trouble. They've been missing for two weeks. Their parents just want to know what happened when you took them into the forest. Julia said nothing. She was too intensely focused on her crude painting of a tree with yellow streaks that represented ropes hanging from its branches. Bert's disappointment is beyond immeasurable, as instead of finding real life enemy girls on Eric 51, all he and Ernie find are failed experimental aircraft. By this point, Elmo was certain that his milk had been drugged. Bert and Ernie spend the day stopping racism by posting black squares and labeling anyone who didn't post black squares as racist. Bert pretends to be sorry for yelling ethnic slurs to an eight-year-old. Sick of waiting for Navy did to call the race, the Count prepares to fly over there and count those votes himself. Professor Grover is done to learn that he can be fired by requiring his overweight students to identify their gender as Big Chungus. Big Bird does his Harley drive-by of laughing at the slaves on his plantation. Now that he thinks about it, Ernie has never seen any babies on a slash don't put your dick in that. Miss Piggy demonstrates what she's done to Kermit's rectum that landed her in the creek in the first place. 
Bingo! Shouts Bert as another prominent Republican tests positive for the coronavirus. He now has five in a row on his White House COVID bingo card. Ernie does his sullen duty and dislikes Reel in 2018. After Bert sneezes, a paranoid Ernie decides Bert has lost his nose privileges. As Ernie continues to play with the kitten, his blood lust begins to fade away. His sexual deviancy begins to diminish. He loses all sense of hatred for others, and he starts to feel warm and fuzzy in his heart. For the first time in his life, Ernie finds true happiness.